Five tonight, we are covering breaking news involving a deadly police shooting in Kingsland, Georgia last week. We have just learned moments ago that tonight, Officer Zachariah Presley has turned himself in to the custody of the Camden County Sheriff's Office. The officer arrested for one count of voluntary manslaughter as well as violation of his oath of office. First Coast News, we broke this news story within the past hour. You got the alert to your cell phone with a push alert about the arrest. Now, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, the GBI, issuing an arrest warrant stemming from the shooting last Thursday that led to the death of Tony Green. He was shot after a traffic stop in Chase. Tonight, First Coast News reporter Hani Rodriguez is speaking to a family friend of the victim and learning more about this investigation. Hani. Hey, Anthony, I had the opportunity before this news uh, just came down to speak with Pastor Mac Knight. He is a family friend of the Green uh, family. He has been the one talking to the media and helping the family through this entire process. Well, today they had their second meeting with uh, the district attorney as well as the GBI. He told me earlier that they received very pertinent information. Of course, they are hopeful and are at peace a little bit more now, but he told me they are still waiting for a, a piece of key evidence in this incident, and that is body camera video that has not been released yet. Tony can't talk, unfortunately he's dead. So that body cam will be his voice, and it'll be what really happened. Because the only, thing, only person that can say something now is the officer, because Tony is not here. But the body cam will be the exact situation that happened. Again, this body camera video has not yet been released, but we are going to be speaking with Pastor Green, uh, excuse me, Pastor Knight in just a little bit here and getting his reaction from the latest news. We're live in Kingsland coming up at 6. I'm Honey Rodriguez, First Coast News on your side. Honey, thank you. And tonight we are digging deeper and we are getting you some answers tonight. Newly released documents obtained by First Coast News provide an inside look at the background and history of the Kingsland police officer now charged with manslaughter. On your side tonight, we're going through hundreds of pages of his personnel file. The file includes a complaint filed by a man saying he feared for his life, believing he would be, quote, taken away by Presley and another officer, even claiming Presley parked in front of his home after making a prior complaint. Now, in his job application, several items were listed as things that should be reviewed before making a hire. Those included issues with domestic violence, marijuana, and complaints of yelling at people. Presley has been on the force since last summer. He had complaints involving traffic stops, including a woman that accused Presley of racial profiling. Presley has been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of a GBI investigation into the shooting.